Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I have been working over the last, I would say, maybe eight, nine months trying to declutter my collection. And one of the things that I have way too much of are eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> Uh, so this is a specific type of declutter today. It's the decluttering the eyeshadows I got in BoxyCharm. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. I feel like the eyeshadows that I get in BoxyCharm, sometimes they really hit it out of the ballpark. There were a few in here when I was pulling, I'm like, oh yeah, I love that. And then there are a couple of others where I really feel like it was, we promised to give you a palette every month. Here we go. And I don't love everything here. And there are some things that I really don't like at all. So we're gonna go through them. So I'm just gonna grab, it's all kind of right here on the table in front of me. And I'm just gonna grab things in no particular order. So this is one of those palettes that I was sure when I saw the preview of it, I wasn't gonna like it, I wasn't gonna use it. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder. It's kind of like a smaller version of the Celestial Storm, which I think has like four more shades in it. But I really like this palette and I really, actually use it. So this is one that is staying. This is one that came in June's box. This is the Beauty Creations Cali Chic. I got a really beautiful look out of this. I haven't been wearing a lot of eye makeup recently. I don't know that you would, probably wouldn't think that with the eye look I've got going on today, but I want to try this again. It does really remind me of the California Love from ColourPop, but I like that this is cardboard packaging. I like that it's nine pans. I like that it has a mirror like this. This one here is from Zoeva. It's their Caramel Melange palette. I did not have success with this palette when I tried it. I tried it once. Was this February or March? I don't remember. I think this might have been in February's box or April's box. It was somewhere. Oh, it sounds terrible. If I don't even remember it, why am I? I'm not going to keep it. My gut is just telling me, no, time to let it go. Another one that I really didn't like was this one. This is the Hello Charmer. And maybe for me, it just felt a little disjointed. And I did try and incorporate uh, this glitter shadow here one time, and then this one here, and they look so pretty like this, but I had a hard time getting them to stay where I put them. And I know that there's a lot of other options in here. I have to force myself to reach for it, and I don't wanna be in that position with my eyeshadow palettes. This is one that came, I think this was last year. This is from Butter London. This is called their Natural Goddess palette. I like that it's small. I like that it has a mirror. Um, and I like that it has a limited number of shades. Having six shades does not give me that feeling of being extremely overwhelmed. But this makes a lot more sense to me than this does. This blue is very patchy on me. I tried it once and it was not successful. And I feel like the rest of these shades I have in other places. I don't need to keep this. And there might be somebody who would enjoy getting this. Now one that I love. I've had this for two years and I think good things about it every time I see it. It's the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe. And you have four mattes and four metallics and like El Malecon and Celia are my two favorite metallics from this. Love, love, love so much. And I feel like you can get some really beautiful looks out of this and I love it. I wear it in the summertime. I just dropped it, I hope it's okay. Oh, it's okay, thank goodness. <laughs> but I do wear it in the summertime and I feel like for the quality that you get, because the quality is so good, I feel like it's a very reasonably priced palette. So this one's staying. I should tell you, this is not the first time I've decluttered BoxyCharm eyeshadows, but it's been a while, so I gotta do it again. So this is one that we got, was it a year, two years ago? I don't remember, it's been a while. It's from Tarte, it's a Rainforest of the Sea, volume three. I think the packaging is really pretty. I love that it's round. I like that the mirror, you know, you can hold it. I can see my whole face in here, but none of these shadows are inspiring. And you would think as a somebody who loves natural shadows and somebody who loves shimmery shades, this would be right up my alley. But I tried it several times and every look looked exactly the same. So that's a no. The Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. I love this palette. And I, I feel like I'm not able to reach for palettes that I know I like and that I know work well for me because I have too many, which is why I'm doing this declutter. But this is gorgeous. And it is very much a warm leaning, you know, you've got some orange in here, some warmer browns, some burgundy shades, but I really like this palette and I feel like it's a really good option for me. 
Another one that I really love that came, I think 2020, is this one. It's the iconic London Day to slay. Mine had a mirror and it broke, so I had to cut it out. Uh, my cat likes to play up here on my makeup space, and I left this half on, half off the table, and she stepped here, and the whole thing went in the middle of the night, careening to the ground, and I heard this popping sound, and it was the mirror. So it does come with a mirror, but I love the shades in here. Uh, you can do kind of like a uh, plummy look. You can do more of a golden look. You can do some light stuff. Like it, it really does have some dimension to it, but it is really very much, I don't know, it's very similar to the Violet Voss, but I did swatch them against each other and I feel like they're different enough that I don't feel bad keeping it because I love the looks I get from this and I love the looks I get from the Violet Voss. This is the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mobs. I know a lot of people really love this palette it's just okay for me. These are not, if I'm going to be wearing mauve or plummy tones, these guys here look a little too powdery, a little too grayish. I don't like these on my skin tone. I use like these three more. These guys I really don't like. And maybe it's just they're a little cool in the plummy area. I don't know. I don't like it. I think I'm going to let somebody else love it for me. This is from Storybook Cosmetics. It's their Fairy Tale Little Briar Rose palette. The packaging is super adorable. It looks like an actual fairy tale book. It has a nice mirror in it. And I, I like that the color story is pretty. And I don't remember loving this palette when I first tried it. I do remember it being a little bit more difficult, but maybe it's gotten lost with so many things. Maybe I should try, I don't, mm, do I try it again? I'm not gonna use it again. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm not gonna use it again. So I'm gonna let somebody else enjoy this. I think it'd be nice to have more space. Like if I had a whole set of them like this, like little books, it'd be super cute. But I wasn't in love with the formula and I did have some problems with like, this shade right here has some glitter in it. And the color itself stains my lids. It's more like a pigment, but then the glitter falls out. And uh, this blue shade here was very patchy. I felt like the rest of the nudes in here and the kind of like more natural looking metallics were easy to use, but I have those other places. This really isn't, and I think that what makes this stand out are some of the blues and like this more special shade here just didn't do it for me. So I have a couple from Pure. The one that I really enjoyed the most was this one. This is the Soiree Diaries. Um, 12 shades. Uh, it has a mirror, which I like. But um, what was interesting to me was that these are all mattes and this whole row here across the bottom are the metallics. And I wanted to swatch these just to see if, look how pretty those are. Man, part of me kind of feels like I haven't reached for it in such a long time. That's a good reason to let it go. But then there's that question mark that I have in my head. Have I not reached for it because it's gotten lost because there's too many others? You know what though? I think, I think I'm think i gonna let it go because I have a lot of other neutral palettes that I think I'd be more likely to reach for than this one. I hate doing that, but you gotta, you gotta do it. All right, another one from Pure was this one. This was their festival palette. This one was fun. It had some pressed glitters. I did not have success with the pressed glitters. They are very pretty. I'm not gonna lie. They're super, super gorgeous. But they got in my eye and you really shouldn't be wearing glitter, especially non-eye safe glitter around your eyeball. And like a stupid person, I did it. So it was uncomfortable. But I really feel like these two shades here are what really make the rest of this very neutral looking palette. Because if you cover this up, doesn't it look just like super neutral? And it's these four shades here that really give it that extra pop. I haven't reached for it in more than a year. I think I'm gonna let it go. I like the Story Diaries, oh. I think they both have some beautiful shades in there and part of me is like, well, Depop the ones you like? I'm just not gonna use it. I just know I'm not. This one here, this is the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette. I think that this one, okay. I like the formula of these, especially the metallics in here, because they're beautiful. Like, But we've seen these metallics before. What really makes this palette special are these two shades here. And these are two that I don't normally reach for. Oh, my dog just tooted. Oh, down here, it smells awful. 
<laughs> oh, I could not go on without saying it smells so bad in here. Sorry. But I don't use these shades. And the rest of this just looks like a really beautiful, when you cover these up, just a neutral palette. I don't know. I don't know. Part of me feels like I should try this again because these guys are so pretty. I mean, look at those. I think I might hang on to this one. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. Do you remember this? I've had this forever, forever. I've decluttered so many palettes from BoxyCharm, but I can't believe I still have this one. This one is from Blink Cosmetics. It's their Electric Eyes palette. It was a collab. And these, oh, these are still soft and beautiful. Look at these. And I, I like that it's a five pan palette. Let's watch these next to these ones here from Ace Beauté. So these guys here are the Electric Eyes palette. You know what's funny is that they're, they're pretty, but I don't think that they're as metallic as these guys. There's one more in here that I didn't swatch. It's more of the champagne shade. Goodbye. Oh, that's hard, that's hard. So do you remember getting these? These are from Ace Beauté as well. And I thought these were fun because they really do feel like a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This one's right here. Uh, and this one is called Ice Latte. Um, I think I'd be willing to keep this one. It, it, it's a really pretty bronze and it has silver sparkle in it. And this one here is called Cotton Candy and it's, I haven't reached for it in a long time. And it's a pink with a gold shimmer right here. I, I don't see myself wearing this shade down to the last few. This is one that I got years ago. This is a ColourPop palette. This is a semi-precious. I remember when ColourPop launched in Sephora for the first time, it must have been three, maybe four years ago. And this was one of those that was exclusive to Sephora. Oh, these are pretty. They're, they're right along in here. I like this one. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm a mess, I'm a mess. I need to remind myself not to touch my face. The last two are from Tarte. I think these are all of my BoxyCharm palettes. This is one that just recently came. Uh, I think, no, this was the June Boxy Luxe one. This is the Tarte Pro or the Tartist Pro, and it looks like this. And so you have 16 matte shades and then you have four shimmer shades. I loved the look I got from this palette. And I haven't really had a chance to use it a lot, so I'm definitely gonna hang on to this. I've heard good reviews about this palette. So the last palette that I have that came in a boxy charm is this one. This is from Tarte. This is their Clay Play Volume 1. They don't make this one anymore. This one came out, was it three or four years ago? And I got this one because Rach Loves talked about it and said it was so good. And it is so good. So if you have this palette and you haven't used it in a while, pull it out. I love these softer shades here, like this one, this one, and this one here for a really super simple eye. I've used this black and this brown as eyeliner. I've used them to smoke out the outer corner. Um, I've used all three of these shades as eyeshadow, but this is the only one that I use as like bronzer. This one's too orange, this one's too deep but the clay play means you can use it anywhere on your face. It does have a nice size mirror and I, I really like this palette. Um, and it's got a nice magnetic closure. I like that it's cardboard packaging. I like everything about this palette and it still smells a little, I don't know if it's chocolate or vanilla. It's probably vanilla because it's Too Faced that does the chocolate, but it smells good. It smells a little cocoa-y to me. Love this, this one's staying. I'm keeping these nine. So if we're not counting these guys as a palette, there are nine other palettes that I'm letting go. And, and that's funny because that's like exactly half. Wow, that's a lot of eyeshadow. It'll give me a little bit more space. I'm not trying to replace what I'm getting rid of with other things. I'm trying to just kind of curate my collection. And I wanna get to the point where I only keep what I really love and what I really think I'm gonna use. And I don't expect myself to use it, like with as many eyeshadow palettes as I have, I can't use them all like 
every day or, you know, several times a week. I do, you know, there'll be some that I only use a couple times in a year, but they need to really have a place. And I feel like everything that I'm getting rid of didn't really have a place and was just eating up space. Uh, didn't like the formula, didn't like the color story. Uh, for some reason, overall performance didn't work for me or it just, it just didn't call to me. And I feel like what I'm keeping, it's a lot of warm toned eyeshadows in here, but that's who I am. That's the kind of gal I am. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know if you get a subscription box, if you have certain products that you've received in your subscription box that are your ultimate faves or ones that you feel kind of like, you know, it might work for somebody else, but it's definitely not for me. I'd love to know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. Have an amazing day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.